everyone today we're gonna be unboxing this PXN V3 Pro gaming steering wheel so first thing I noticed with the packaging is the tape on this box this might be an open box that has been returned and repacked you can't even use the handle because of the tape over it those are just little things but hey as long as it's working I'm good packaging is not the best but it's not the worst they use the cardboard to divide each components and they're all covered with plastic. Comes with one foot pedal for acceleration and braking control. The pedal comes with extendable pedal pad for more grip. The pedal uses RJ11 cable to connect to your wheel. It comes with a plastic screw for your fixed U-type bracket. Or is a useful manual for your setup for both English and Chinese instructions. First impression, the steering wheel itself looks sleek in design. You will first notice that it comes with lots of buttons for controls. It looks similar to racing wheel ergonomics design. They use a rubber grip to avoid slipping and this wheel is also compatible for Xbox One, Xbox Series X, S, PC, PS3, PS4, and Nintendo Switch. For the button layout, they added the L1 and L2, R1 and R2 buttons on top of the steering wheel handles. They also added the XYVA buttons just like the PS4 controllers. At the center of the steering wheel, we have Share, Home, and Options button. Your typical D-pad control buttons. Underneath the steering wheel, it comes with a left and right shifting paddle. Underneath the handle, they also added additional buttons which is the R3 and R4. On the side of the steering wheel, it comes with a built-in stick shifter and it was mapped the same like your paddle shifter. It also sounds clicky loud. Alright enough of that, and for the connection, it uses USB to connect to your PC, Xbox, or PS4. Underneath the wheel, it comes with a 7 strong suction cups. Comes with a U-type fixed bracket for your desk mount. They also provided extra micro USB cable for your Xbox and PS4 controller connection to your wheel USB port. For installation, it's pretty straightforward. I have a 1.25 inches thick desk and it's almost perfect fit for the U-clamp to keep it stable. The section itself can keep it stable as long as you're not driving an intense racing video game. The wheel has built-in resistance to snap back to center and it feels strong and quick. Let's go ahead and test it in track simulator. The driver installation in Windows 11 is pretty easy. I downloaded their driver from their website, installed it, and right on, your game can automatically detect it as an option for your controls. In Truck Simulator, the responsiveness is kinda slow for me so I adjusted the sensitivity higher so I won't overturn like what I just did in the game. I just wanted a decent reliable wheel to add a new level of enjoyment to my truck simulation and racing games. My wife loves racing games more than I do, but for me, I just want this for my truck simulator. buttons that they added. You would think with all the buttons that you can map all of them to different things but that's not the case. The pedals are mapped to the LT and RT buttons on the wheel and the stick shifter and paddle shifter are mapped to the LV and RV buttons. Overall, 
all, if you're looking for your first gaming wheel with a decent features that isn't going to break the bank, I'd recommend this PXN V3 Pro. This wheel is all around, but you can use it for Xbox, PS4 or PC, so it's not that bad for the price. If you're planning to buy this from Amazon, I added the link on the description below. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on my next one.